I'm going to ask your name and address for the record, please, in a moment. But we're going to vote. We're going to take a vote on, by council on whether or not to allow you two extra minutes. Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bob Kalabaski, 41 in Fredericksburg. Good. Give us a second. If this council by motion would just allow Mr. Kalabaski two minutes of extra time, need a motion, second, and vote. I'll make that motion. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. George? Yes. Mrs. Lavelle? Yes. Sorry? Yes. Yes. Mr. Barrett? Yes. And Mr. Merrick? Yes. Thank you. Right, I appreciate you getting the council member now. You know, I would agree you want to spend your seven minutes on it. Welcome. 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 Keep your seatbelt on. Thank you for sitting on it. First of all, members of, no members of council, there's no sense in talking to Mr. Merritt or Mr. Barrett. As last year, I tried to bring up what's been going on, how the citizens of this city have been ripped off by Tom Layton's towing situation. When I brought this up to the council, I couldn't have been any nicer to Kathy Kane. I met with Mr. Barrett. I tried to talk to Mr. Merritt. He won't talk to me. To tell him what was going on. And what they did was come after me. In 2010, they tried to drop my prices from $150 to $100. Put every restriction on me that I would not be able to operate in the city. And at the same time, I have the proof. LAG Towing was charging at that same time period. Where I was charging $70 and $75 when I had the towing contract, they were charging $400 and I have multiple receipts. Okay, sir. Well, this is the way I talk. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the way I am. This is eight years of frustration with this corrupt administration. You're being disruptive. How am I being disruptive? Talk civil to us, please. I am. This is the way I talk. Now they're interrupting me. Tell them to be civil. All right. This is the way I talk. I'm sorry. But at the same time, they're, they're, they're rotten. It's not Pulaski that's the real Pulaski that's doing anything. It's the thief mayor who lets them get away with this. And what I would like to do with council, I'd like to meet with the new members. I'm going to be having a press conference in the rotunda of the courthouse in a few weeks to expose the corruption in that police department. And that's the only way we're going to get something done. And I'm going to ask for your support to write to the Justice Department in Washington. You can't go to Scranton. Forget it. I went to them in 2006. When you make an accusation of public officials, they have to investigate. They never sent anyone. When I contacted the FBI, he never told me. Agent Joseph Noon and him and Jerry DeSoy go to dinner together. And another thing I want to show you is, this is what's wrong when you talk about the citizens. Now, I asked for copies of the receipts. I was fired as the city tower because my receipts weren't itemized. And I had them. And I produced them for the lawyers for the city. 87 months of records are thrown out. Why? 87 months. And I've been tracking them down for a long time. And I have many of them. But here's what they sent me when I asked for a copy so they can't destroy any more records. Staffing problems. We have staffing problems at the city clerk's office. We have staffing problems. How hard is it to walk or to drive down and pick these records up? Something the chief of police should be doing on it every month. And he's just as guilty as that thief sitting over there, the mayor, for allowing this corruption to go on, where they could rob our citizens. $400. And Mike, when I try to talk to you, you won't even talk to me. How do you think I feel that I worked as hard as I did, as long as I did, provided excellent service, get fired because my receipts weren't itemized, and plus I followed Tim Henry's direction and Bill Vinsco's direction on releasing a car and they said I was insubordinate because I went over their heads and got the right legal opinion of at least him. He's, a, he's a, definitely a smart lawyer. Vinsco, forget. But they both agreed with me to do what I had to do. And this is why people come here frustrated. This stuff has been going on and on and on. And I'm going to ask to meet with you one at a time privately so we don't violate any sunshine laws to explain to you, and I'll show you the proof. And next month, I'm going to come in and show you statements that that liar and thief and racketeer over there state. I can't.
can't help it. This is the way I talk. I am civil. I am civil. civil. If I was young, you hear me? This is the way I talk. Okay? Well, I can't help myself. This is eight. How do you think it feels, Mike? When he, the Tom Layton's father died, you know what Judge Pat Tool Sr. said? I truthfully lost one of my best friends. And I never forgot that statement. He must have been a hell of a guy. When my father was dying, I couldn't help him and get him back to my house because that thief over there took my contract off me and allowed for 26 months the thief in that police department and the thief mayor, what they did, robbing the citizens. And I'm more than that. And guess what? I can't beat you people here. But I'll tell you what. We get to federal court again. I will beat this. And the question I'd like the new council people to ask if we're able to rob the taxpayers and the insurance companies and the citizens for $50,000 a year, why didn't we put it up for bid and let somebody rob them for $100,000? When I asked the chief of police or for a meeting, I called Barbara Smith. Hey, could I, I'd like to tell Jerry I need to talk to him about the pricing. Never called me back. And a week later, who's running the place? Lo and behold, praise the Lord, Donnie Smith. The chief secretary's husband worked there for six and a half years. That's why I'm frustrated. I like where's where's Mr. Vinsco? I'd like to ask him my question now. Where is he? <laughs> Bill Vinsco, front and center, please. I'm behind the rail. Okay, ask me yeah, questions. Ask him, please. <laughs> got a minute left. All right. Well, where is he? I want to ask I him my question. Sharing the meeting here, sir. Right <laughs> okay. Sorry for talking loud, but new council members. I went to Bill Barrett, a guy I thought a lot of. Tried to talk to you. Talked to Kathy Kane, told her all this stuff that was going on. And you know what they did to me, Mrs. Lavelle, Mr. George, Mr. Brown? They came after me. They fixed it, an ordinance that basically put me out of business. And yes, I did threaten to sue. And you may have a problem sooner than you think. But what did you just do to him? Okay, Mr. Not Judge Bosco, your time's up. Thank you very much. Is Mr. Vince go here to answer my question? Don't see him here, sir. Maybe he's running for Congress. <laughs> 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 Betsy Summers, please. <laughs>